All right, what's up, everybody? This is Alex back with you, uh, representing L to L um, Arrangements and um, Music Studio. So, in a little bit, I'm about to do a lesson uh, here for a young man. This young man is um, in the third grade, I believe, and he's out in Utah, so he's out west um, in America. So, um, my wife keeps getting on me about making sure that I've kind of vlogged behind the scenes. Uh, and and uh, I don't take the time enough, I, I know I don't, to um, talk about what I do sort of uh, with my private lessons on the side, um, outside of being uh, in the classroom. So I'm going to take uh, this few minutes and do so. Um, again, this young man plays trumpet. Uh, I think we've had about a month and a half or so of lessons, um, and he's doing great for his age. Uh, a little nervous from time to time, and he's, of course, um, young, <laughs> so... Um, you know, you're always dealing with kind of mixed emotions and things like that, as well as I do with my kids. And you're trying to gauge, you know, uh, what's the best solution at the time. Uh, but instead of uh, vlogging the actual lesson uh, due to uh, privacy issues um, that I don't necessarily want to delve into uh, because they may be uncomfortable with it, I'm just going to deal with it from my side. So this is kind of me uh, right now. Um, where we stay, this is me in the lab in a sense, uh, in the studio, uh, right here at our um, desk. Um, I have uh, what he plays. I try to have something always that the student needs. So this happens to be uh, a trumpet. Um, uh, again, I, by trade, my primary instrument is alto saxophone. Um, and unless it is level, definitely level five, for some instruments, level four or five music, uh, even going up uh, to uh, high schoolers and more advanced stuff, I can pretty pretty much play whatever to, whatever my students need uh, that is in the band uh, realm. So that would be um, winds and percussion. Um, so depending on how much of an intermediate to advanced player they are, I will hand them off to more uh, um, equipped or better equipped uh, primary instrument uh, teachers. So percussion actually is one of those... Um, well, for basics to intermediate, I'm pretty good with percussion. I can play just about anything they need. Um, I understand what they need on, the, on a higher level, but in terms of actually being the model for them, then I will hand them off to um, um, percussion teachers. Um, piano is another thing. It's exactly the same. Uh, basic to intermediate. And then after that, I need to hand them off. But outside of those instruments... Maybe French horn, <laughs> maybe French horn. Outside of those, I can pretty much handle what my students need. Uh, definitely from beginning to intermediate. Uh, if it's sax and especially uh, things like uh, three valve instruments, um, things like um, um, even clarinet, then I, I can carry them up to the advanced level. Um, it just kind of depends on what it is. Um, and so that's basically what I do. Uh, again, I have another pricing video and things like that. Um, a Facebook page and all of that. I'm sure my wife put in, in the description of uh, the last piece. I will show you again. I'm, I'm pretty much here. This is an online lesson. And so we're going to meet on Google meets if I can get them there today, but we actually use a platform and I'll show you here called take lessons. Um, and so this is kind of my page. All right, here we go. I'm back. Um, here's the button that I shouldn't say button rather. This is the platform that I meet the students in predominantly if they don't find me on my Facebook page or YouTube page or they're not a student that I currently teach in the classroom. It is a uh, take lessons.com. Um, and I will even show you my profile here. Uh, I have him at two o'clock, uh, Eastern standard, but again, it's not two o'clock where he is. I believe they are either West or mountain West. So he's out in Utah. And I'm teaching students in Utah right now, I believe Baltimore, and I believe Minnesota. I may have that wrong. Um, and I'm looking for, for for more. As many as I'm teaching, I'm looking for um, at least that many. Um, so, you know, feel free to share this information if you know someone that's interested in playing an instrument. Um, especially uh, young students. Um, I would say any age in terms of probably third grade is the best and up. Third grade is the best and up. Now, that doesn't mean they can't start younger. You know, and I've even had some um, adult uh, students who either used to play or, you know, want to start. Um, but that's the best. So, through this little shaky cam here. 
Um, we're going to meet on Google Meets. I don't know. Let me see here. We're going to meet on Google Meets, but we're going to start here and take lessons. Google Meets just has some other things that I like in terms of uh, hearing the screen, the audio and things like that. Almost like Zoom, um, but we haven't tried to do Zoom yet. I use it for work, but not uh, my lessons. And so that's pretty much it. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out again. I'm looking for more students. Uh, oh, my profile here. Let me see if I can find my profile. Take lessons. Clicking the button. Uh, you see, uh, they, they have me in the gold range. Uh, so I have my background check and things like that. And there's an introduction to who I am, the places I've taught, what I've done. Uh, some videos and some some footage there in terms of uh, former bands that I've had and former students I've taught. Um, you know, so that's just kind of a snippet of who I am. Um, there's much more to me than this, but um, this is what I've used here. So, you know, hopefully we'll have either either one of you or one of your friends or family, one of your kids join who's interested and we see how it goes and if we're a good fit and you know try to make you an accomplished um musician um i i love to teach so again uh without you seeing my face let's see yeah so see my face one more time i want to make sure i say goodbye with you i see my face again it's alex little um i'm out representing uh l to l to l um lessons and uh music studio. Uh, that, that means I also write music. Um, I haven't done it as much uh, in recent years with my kids and and uh, with more demand for me as a private instructor than than my arrangements, but um, I love to write for bands. So um, if, if you know someone that needs that as well, um, they can contact me and I can give them a, a quote. Um, but I, I love to write music um, as well. That's so I teach in the classroom write music arrangements. Um, and I also do private lessons and perform, um, uh, when needed, <laughs> uh, whether it be weddings and, and, uh, things like that, uh, uh, different ceremonies. All right. So, um, have a good day and I hope this helps you out. Bye. Okay, there we go. It's finally going. All right. <clears throat> All right, Noah. All right. Hey there, man. So you guys got on. Um, I was putting something in the chat right now for you. Something we'll start to use down the line. So you guys can just open it up and, and save it for later on. It's going to be what's called a scale sheet. Um, and it's hard to explain what that is. But if you have like a, a list of maybe a, a, a list of words you're supposed to spell out in your classes. And you have to go and you take a spelling test and things like that. Or like a memorization sheet. That's kind of what a scale sheet is. So we're not going to focus on that a lot and heavily today, but eventually we will start learning different pieces of information, one scale, then two scales and things like that. All right. All right. Let's take uh, our mouthpieces and we're going to um, start um, going to do a little bit of buzzing. All right. All right. So I will use my fingers right now as the metronome set to this tornado drill set and two and ready. Um, Two, good. And a one and two and do it again. And good. Two more and two and the second two and three. Good. You do the last one, Sab. And two by yourself. One, two, ready. Good job. All right. Let's put our mouthpieces in. You guys been doing all right this week? All right. All right. All right. All right. So we're going to um, we're going to start with those warmers we've been using in the back of the book, the accelerators. So if you go back there and look at 4A as an apple, okay, we're going to start right there today. And I'm going to move my screen around as well, see if I can present it. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just shrink it down. I'm gonna shrink it down and open up another screen. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Give me one second, that way I can read with you. Don't wanna do that. 
I'm using a different device today, so. Okay, there we go. Are you looking at it? Yes, sir? Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to look at 4E. I mean, uh, whoa, not E. <laughs> 4A. All right. Um, just trying to get it to the right size on my. All right. Are you ready? All right. Set your arm sure. One and a two. And one, two. Ready to play. Rest. Two, one, and three. Breathe. C open. Good. All right, and it's open. Good. We're going to go to the next one. Get these, get some blood going in these lips. We're going to go to 4B. You know these, and I think last week we learned uh, 12A. And that's all I really want to use for this time being. We'll let you get used to them, then we'll add a new one. All right, so let's go to 4B as in boy. Open C to 1 and 3 on D. Set, two, and a one, two, breathe. And say no, two, say no, and. Yes, two, Good job. Good job. All right. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go to 12 A as an apple. So just as a reminder, if you can follow me when you're airplane. All right. We're going to go from one and two on E to open D to one and two on E. All right. So one and two, one and three, one and two. That's where we start at. Then we're going to go to D, which is one and three, then open C, then D. All right. Then we're going to build a small part of a scale. So we're going to go open C, then D on 1 and 3, then E on 1 and 2. And we're going to go back down to reverse. 1 and 2 on E, 1 and 3 on uh, D as in dog, and open C. You good? All right, let's give it a shot. Set, 2, and 1, and 2, and ready, fast air. Next, D. you to play that one for me without me doing anything. I'm going to take a good listen to you and see how you're doing over there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the latency is pretty big today. Um, play, you go ahead and play and I'll listen to you. This time, I'm, I'm not going to play with you. I'm going to just listen to you. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, I do want a little bit more consistency for me. Watch me, watch me. I need you to think about the most... Uh, do you like lemonade? Do you like sour candy? You don't? Uh, some, some things I do like and some things I don't. Um, well, but you have had it, right? You've had something that was super sour. Yeah, and it just made your, your whole... It made all your muscles tense up. Mm, oh, my goodness gracious. 
that's what we need a little bit more of, right? That's why we do our buzzing drills, okay? So right now I'm seeing a lot of air in those cheeks. They look really cute and puffy, mm, like you've eaten some food and right now you're not eating. I need you to get all that air out of there. That is a horrible habit. It's not good for anybody. Whether you play a flute, whether you play a trombone or a tuba, get all of the air out, bring in the corners, bring in the cheek muscles, all suck it all in like you're just going through a wind tunnel, all right? And that's gonna help you hit a lot of those notes more consistently. So let me hear E with you bringing all of those, those muscles in. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, that was amazing. That was amazing. And you look great at the beginning of it. And then your, your cheeks got puffy. They got tired. Mm, okay. Keep them in. All right. We're going to go away from the warm-up area. That was good. Just keep those cheeks sucked in. That's good. All right. Now we're going to go to where we were. Uh, we're not going to do any theory or any things like that today. We're going to go right to um, uh, 17. And I think before we do 17, we'll probably do a little bit of uh, something you know. Hot cross buns. You like hot cross buns? You think it was okay? Okay, you want to start right on it? You want to start right on 17? All right, I love yes. it. I love it. All right, I'm going to that page. I'm opening it up. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. I'm trying to get my computer to, to do what I wanted to do. But I don't think it's going to do it. Hmm. Okay. Give me one second. I'm on a different device today. I'm trying something new. And it's just taking longer than I want. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Okay. It won't seem to shrink the music for me. All right, I'm going to go out of this thing all together. There we go. Okay, 17. Okay, so the first thing I want from you, just as a refresher, I have faith in you, but I want you to hear me play it and then you're gonna play right behind me. Now, I don't want you to sit there and listen for me, right? I need you airplane. I need to see those fingers moving. All right, I need to see those fingers moving. All right, Set, 17, two, and one. Two, three. Whoa, 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 whoa. 17. Aren't you on 18? Aren't you on 18? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not on 17 anymore. I mean, we, we could review it. That's fine. Do you want to review it for mom? Okay. Okay, we'll do it for mom. All right, 17. All right, well, in that case, yeah, you can go ahead and play with Yeah, because you were doing 18. Yeah, so you can play this with me. Play 17. All right, it doesn't matter. If you if you miss a note, let's do it together. No, that's good, that's good. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You sound good. Very good. Boom, yes sir, that's it. That's it. Outstanding, outstanding. Um, so again, we want all of them to hit that high mark. That is good. If I played the little recording for you online, that is exactly how it would sound. I love it, man. All right. Um, okay. Um, let's go to 18 then. Okay. We have nothing to say about 17. All right. So here it is. I think we were on the harder parts of 18 and it is okay. All right. Let's focus on 18 and try to get this one in today. Um, I need to shrink this screen so I can see better. Can't see like I want to. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. You airplay, I'll play. One, two, three. So hopefully you were air playing with me. I'm pretty sure last, yeah, when we had grandma the other week, we were handling, we were about to measure five and measure six. And honestly, once you get those in, 
you can pretty much play all of 18. It's, 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 it seems repetitive. It doesn't look repetitive, but it sounds repetitive, actually. All right, let's see if you can play me measure um, one and two. We're just going to break it down. Play me measure one and two. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. But on measure two, you have um, pi, rest, pi, rest, E, rest, E, silence. Okay? Yes, sir. That's... Yeah, that's good. Good. Let's do measure three and four. My goodness gracious. All right, let's do five. This is where it gets a little kind of complex. We're going to do five. It doesn't sound like the first measure because you have a rest, but it feels just the same. Okay, and the first one, we, we held the first C out, but this one, we have, to, we have to let that C die off, cut off. All right, so try this one for me. Try measure five, square five, rectangle five. Almost give me two C's, then D, two open C's. Open, open, one and three. Boom, perfect. Good, and when you get to E, buzz twice as fast. Pi, pi, pi. Pretty good. Pretty now you brought those cheeks in, so you even overshot the E. You got even higher. Yeah, buzz just a little bit slower, just a hair slower. That's that same. Okay, almost. All right, follow me. I'm going to do five and six. The same E we've been playing. Try to get it for me. You hit it, you hit it, and then kind of kind of fell off of it, right? One and two, one and two, one and two. Three E's. Let me hear that. E, E, E. <laughs> okay. All right, it'll come along. Don't worry about it. It's going to come along. All right, let's go to the last two measures, all right? So you have D, D, E, C, okay? Try that for me. Start on one and three for me on D. Let me hear D. D. Up there, yeah, up there, up there. Higher, 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 higher. Push. C. Open C. There you go. There you go. We're getting it. All right. You did nail it. I want to hear it again. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. All right, good. So we're going to start from the beginning this time, okay? It doesn't matter if you miss it. I always tell my students this. It does not matter. You see a performer, Celine Dion, it doesn't matter. Mary J. Blige, it doesn't matter who they are. You know, um, it doesn't matter. You name the person. You know, um, I don't know, Selena Gomez, anybody. You see them on stage, you see them on a, on a cartoon, you see them on, in a movie. You don't know how many times they've messed up because sometimes they mess up, but they're never going to tell us that they messed up. They're just going to keep driving through it. You know what I'm saying? I know you play baseball. So uh, oftentimes your coach will probably say to you, you know what? It doesn't matter if you if you, if you you didn't get the, the catch or if you made a bad pitch. Don't worry about it. You shake it off. You go on past it. That don't because we still have a whole game. We have a whole game, and that's what a song is. It's a whole entire game. So don't let anyone know that you missed a note. You just keep on driving past it. Then you can come back and rehearse and practice on it as to not miss it to, uh, through the performance. So for young players, that's a tough thing for people to learn because they're like, oh, I missed a note. Oh, it's over. Oh, no, it's not over. Don't sweat it. It's better to miss one little note than to miss four or five or six notes. Does that make any sense to you? Good. Okay, so 
But this time, we're going to see if we can play it together. Okay. Afterwards, if I hear something that I might need to come and clean up, then I'm going to listen to you by myself. All right. But this time, I want to try to do it together and see if this helps. All right. All right. Let's get our embouchure set. Let's think about this sour, sour candy, even if we don't like it. One, two, and a set, and two, and breathe. Again, we are we do have some latency, you know. We do have some kind of, you know, it's online, it's virtual, so I can't hear as pure, pure, purely as I want. But it sounds pretty good to me, Mom. What'd you think? Do what is maybe around measure seven or eight? Um, I think that might be Mom in the room. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, is there anything that kind of stands out to you? Um, yeah, kind of like right in the middle. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. There it is. It's the trickiest part of it. I, I just wanted to make sure because you're in the room with him and I'm not that if it was something that I needed to focus on. OK. All right. So this is what we're going to do, man. Um, the good news is we are going to go on the 19 and start working on the F today. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow mom's uh, advice. All right. And we're going to look in the middle real quick at measure five and measure six one more time. Um, let's see. Try this for me. Can you can you buzz this for me? Can you take my piece out for me? OK. The first time I'm going to buzz it. The second time, I'm going to play it. While I play it, I want you to buzz it. Ooh, let me see if I can get my chop going. I'll do it again. All right, so you should hear the same exact music here um, as you hear on this trumpet, okay? This time, if you can, buzz it, buzz it with me as I play it. I want you to buzz it. Give me a nice, strong, big buzz. Make some music on the thing. Set. This is five. And a set. And two. And ready. One more time. And a one. And a two. And five. And do it again now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we were just doing five and six. Now I want you to try to play it for me by yourself, and I'm going to listen to you. I think there's maybe a, a small bit of confusion. I think you may have started from measure one. That's the only thing. Otherwise, you played, once I picked up where you were, you were playing just fine. Um, play play six for me. E, E, E. You play that. One, two, three. Almost picked that thing up. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, hold tight. Hold tight. Oh, okay, now play five for me. Pick your bell up. C, C, D, only five. C, C, D. Good. Hold tight. Those are masterful. Now play them together. C, C, D, E, E, E. Try that for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to come back to this next week. That is great. And I have the utmost faith in you. You do really well. Uh, between one week and the next week when I see your music just jumps off the page, all right, that that will be as clean as you play uh, a Claire de Lune number 17. And then mom's here. She's listening. All right. So let's take a look at 19. Let's start messing around with this new F. All right. I know you got the chops to play it. Now we just have to be consistent about nailing it every time. Consistency. Okay. Um, so it's obviously first valve. I've heard you play it before about three weeks ago and even before then. Um, play it for me. 
Good job. So let's break this thing down like we, we've done here. We're gonna, I'm going to do measure one, then I'm going to do measure two, then I'm going to do measure one and two. I'm going to put them together. All right, so this is just n numero uno, measure one. Again, two, measure one only. Good. Now let's do measure two. Pi, pi, one, two. Or F, E, F. All right. One and two and ready. Okay, you try it. Yes, sir. Let's put them together. All right, ready. From the very beginning, set our measures in a two. And one, two, breathe in. Okay, now you try it by yourself. Let me see it. It sounds pretty good, but... Good. I want you to take your time a little bit more on the very first measure. Hold them out, extend them a little bit more, but otherwise you're good. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna go to measure three. Uh, the first note of measure three, of course, you know is E, so it's one and two. You have two of them, so it's E, E, D is in dog, E. And it sounds like this. If you can airplay, I'll play it for you. One, two, ready. <laughs> My middle valve is sticking a little bit, but hopefully you can hear beyond that. I'll do it again. One, two, ready. Right, that time I pressed it up. Okay? You give it a shot. Fast buzzing. Keep that armature firm like you got it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this time, we're going to do three and four. We're going to piece them together, one through four, and then we'll probably wrap up here. We're probably going to um, see how you feel and wrap up here, see how moms feel, but we're going to do three and four first, then try to do one through four, just like we did last week. We, got, we tried to get half of it, okay? All right, so this is three and four. I want you to airplay first, and I end on F. Number four is F. Number four is F on one. One, this is three and four. Starting on E as an elephant. One, two, three. I'll do it again. Ready? Rest two. You try it. My goodness gracious. Good. All right, so we're going to do one through four this time. Let me play it for you first, because if you're not familiar with it, it'll throw you off a little bit. All right, I'm going to put the whole thing we just did together. Start from the beginning on first valve. One and two and a set and two and ready. Okay, we'll try it together. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. I love it. All right, one. Firm I'm sure valve up. One uh bell up, brother. One and two and ready. Okay. Good. Do it one more time for me. One more time. By yourself, without me. Great. Man, man, you sound good. You sound good over there. All right. All right. Well, uh, take, take a breather. Put your trumpet down. Relax those lips. Let it all go. Let that blood come back to you. All right. Relax your head. All right. Um, first off, let me just tell you, you sound great, okay? Um, it's been, what has it been, about six weeks, and this is about the about correct pacing uh, for, for where we are, you know, uh, to be close to number 20 and to, to learn notes from, um, from C all the way up to F on the trumpet. Uh, we meet once a week, of course, 
Um, if are there any questions, uh, we can we can finish the piece now. It doesn't matter to me. We can work on a little something different. Um, but I know generally this is kind of a good time to take a break as as I'm learning <laughs> to take a break in and kind of figure out what you guys want to do. Questions, concerns, feel free. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so you guys let me know. We can we can wrap up here, or we can try to maybe get another measure out, maybe. It's up to you. How do you want to do? Do you want to wrap up, or do you want to wrap up? Okay. All right, all right. I think the stillers are on, too, if I'm correct. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> I have not watched the game yet. I was watching uh, Miami, um, the, the rookie. All right, guys. Mom, let me know if, if there's anything. Otherwise, I'm going to let you guys go, and we'll catch each other next week here. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right. You guys stay safe. Bye-bye.